Game preparation and game analysis are two of the most important things you can do in chess to improve your level. Today I want to share with you the tool that I use to analyze my games to prepare against my opponents and discuss with you whether that's the best chess tool available for these purposes or not. What's up chess player and welcome to the Journey to Camp Master, the place where you can improve every single aspect of your chess game. Chessify powerful cloud platform for chess training. That's what the company calls itself. So what does it give you? It gives you a very powerful engine. And what the word cloud means for you that you don't need a powerful computer. So we all know Chessbase. Chessbase is like a go-to tool for professional chess players and basically everybody uses it because there is nothing else. With company like Chessify, we finally have some alternatives at least. And it's always great to have some competition going on because somehow it inspires companies to improve their product, improve their service, which is great for us and customers. Because with Chessbase, well, frankly, you don't have a lot of significant changes over the last, let's say, 15 years in terms of interface, in terms of features. And uh, yeah, I would be happy to, to, to see some growth. So. Chessify, the killer feature of this software is that you can access your account from any possible device, be it a laptop, personal computer, tablet, or even just mobile phone, and get the same power of the engine as you would from the most powerful computer in the world, because the engine works not on your device, it works in the cloud. In contrast, uh, in Chessbase, the power of your engine is strictly dependent on the power of your computer because it basically uses it and there is no mobile version at all. On top of that, Chessify has a huge database uh, with millions of games just like Chessbase, but it also has a Lee Chess database so that you can browse your opponents just by using his nickname and prepare for his openings. Let's dive deep into this software and see how it works what are the features, what are the pluses and disadvantages, the price, value for money, and my experience and final conclusion. First of all, here is how the website looks. You don't need to upload anything to your computer. You just go to chessify.me and you enter your credentials and here you are in your account. You have a big board here where you can analyze a certain chess position. For example, here I have a position from the Ragozin defense, which is pretty complicated. And then you go down and start from the beginning here and you switch on the engine. I normally use the Stockfish because I'm used to it. That's the most popular one. And basically you can never go wrong with it. Then you wait a little bit so it switches on because well, that's the cloud. But then you get it and you get a certain speed. Now, the way the Chessify works is not like one-time payment, but you have a subscription-based business model. We are going to talk more about pricing later on. First, I just want to show you how it actually works. So here I have the speed 25 to 100. Basically, that means how fast the engine calculates the moves. You don't need to care too much of the technical details, but what you need to care of is this depth. It means the number of moves that the engine calculates going forward and professional chess players are saying that the minimum you need to really uh, dive deeper into a complicated position is 13. Maybe super grand masters will say 35 if you are talking about some critical opening lines but okay for normal human beings that are just working on this planet 30 would be okay and so you get with this engine you get this speed uh, pretty fast but this is this server starting with 25 and you see I currently have 21,000, which is a little bit below, but uh, still this is the speed you get and that's pretty good. But you need to have a certain type of account to get this. We are gonna talk about it later on. You have, of course, a lot of settings here, the number of uh, lines you want to have, the um, engine itself, there are different ones here you can choose from. You have the opening database here where you can choose the mega database, for example, yeah, let's say here. So we have a lot of games yeah, over here with the date and very, very important, you can filter it. So over here, you can click on filter and then you can ignore bleeds and rapid games. I really like it because nowadays people are playing complete nonsense in bleeds and rapid games and here you can just get it away, out of the way, so you can truly prepare. You can also 
uh, search through the database of uh, correspondence games because people are using engines there. If you are familiar with correspondence chess, they are just uh, having like a day or something to figure out a move and they are free to use the engines. So these are really high quality games and you can be sure that if someone plays this certain move in a certain opening, then it should be of high quality. Then you have the Leeches database, which is kind of an amazing thing. You can just search by the nickname and find all of the games of your potential opponents and uh, yeah, just prepare against him. Moving forward, you have the cloud storage. So you can uh, storage your openings, your analysis in, in the cloud so that imagine you are in a tournament, it's rapid chess, for example, you have like 15 minutes between the rounds and you have a phone with yourself. You can just take a look at your analysis. You can take a look at your opponent and quickly prepare uh, something against him. And the, the just killer feature, you have an incredibly powerful engine in your pocket ready to go whenever you need it. Please, cheaters, don't listen to it. It's not for you. Anyway, this is a powerful tool that you can use from anywhere. And then you have the video search, which is kind of a magical function for me. So if I have a certain position, it's looking for some YouTube videos which are connected to this concrete opening. I can't say it's working very good, but it's something you can play with, something that you cannot have normally. And you also have the PDF scanner. This is an incredible feature, like if you have a certain openings book, for example, or maybe middle, any chess book, basically in the PDF format, you can upload it here and the software will convert it into the format available for you to just uh, go through the lines, analyzing it yourself or with the engine so that you can dive deeper into the material. You can obviously import uh, here your games as well as export it out of here. There are absolutely no difficulties with that. Now, as for the servers, you can see here I can choose different servers. And the first one is available for me in the master or grandmaster subscriptions. We are going to talk more about the subscriptions itself later on, but the key difference is the speed that you get on each level of the subscription. So 25 to 1 100 mn per second you get for free in this uh, plan but then if you want to get more let's say 300 then you need to use the coins and the coins it's a little bit more complicated it's just the currency of the chess software here you can buy it additionally so many as you need and then use it for this uh, high speed of a, a chess engine for example i have choosing here the 300. Let's see how powerful it's going to be, how uh, fast it's going to get the speed. Once again, it's all about the speed because even if with a slower engine, you can wait like an hour and get a huge result. But who has so much time? And with such an uh, engine, you can spare that time by using those coins. You can see that so far we have here the server because it needs like a few minutes to connect to the cloud but then we are gonna get a huge speed all right now we have it and you see how quickly we get the depth so here the speed is much higher it's not 300 but around 180 and it costs us 20 coins per minute we're gonna see how much it is in, in real money later on but here we already have depth 33 which was much more difficult, much slower for us to get in a previous with the previous level of uh, engine speed. And then we can of course go on with our moves and see we yeah, have the same process going on here. We get to 30 with yeah kind of kind of a good speed. Of course, it depends on the position as well because if you have a very simple position, it's going to happen much faster. And if you have a lot of pieces and a lot of craziness going on the board. Let's say I'm gonna make a six move or something like that. Then it's gonna become complicated, and it's much um, and it's more difficult for the engine to get a huge uh, speed here. But overall, it works really fast. That costs me twenty coins per minute. So I can choose that speed up to one billion nodes per second, which is like a crazy, crazy speed. Let me show it for you just for the sake of completeness. All right, so we have here the most powerful server available on Chessify. It costs 80 coins per minute. And let's make a move for black to 
find how fast it's getting the depth. We have, yeah, really almost 1 billion nodes per second. This is so incredible. And we already get to depth 30. Let's make another move. Again. 30 is this like magical number where you can be sure, okay, this analysis is pretty good to go. Yeah, now we have it. That's incredibly fast. Like when I use Chessbase on my own laptop, which is like pretty new, not that bad. It has 60, 16 gigabytes of RAM, for example, and a pretty strong processor. It takes me maybe a minute or two, depending on the position, to get to this level of depth. And my speed in like best case scenario, like 100 times slower than this one. Now to prepare here against an opponent, all you need to do is click on Mega Database here and just search by name. That's gonna prepare against me. You're just choosing the player and then you can see here all of the games. But once again, you can filter it if you want to ignore the Blitz and Rapid game. And you can also choose a certain color that you need. For example, here we have white. If you want to play black against me, then you can see all of the games I played as white. And by the way, it's really up to date. Like I played this last tournament here a few weeks ago and it's already here in the database. So you can really be sure you're not going to miss anything important. And of course, the best thing is you don't need to pay for any updates like you need to do with Chessbase. Then if you want to prepare a specific opening against me, then you are just trying to make the first moves. Let's say you played the move d5, then you see what I play. Wait a second, I play knight f3. And you want to play knight f6 against me. Then you see what I'm doing here, c4, and let's say you want to play c6. And you're looking at all of the games I play in this opening, and then you prepare against me and hopefully uh, beat me like a child. Now, in terms of interface and my experience of uh, using the software, I can say I don't really have any difficulties with it. It's pretty intuitive what you need to do. Of course, you have a guide here, like when you first start using it, so that you understand where all of the main features are. And then you're basically good to go. It's uh, not rocket science to figure out how to use it. Whereas with Chessbase, well, <laughs> at least in the beginning, you need quite a lot of tips trying to understand what's going on here, which button to press. And even after years of using it, sometimes I still get frustrated trying to find a certain feature. Now let's talk about pricing because this is the part where it gets a little bit more complicated. With Chessbase, everything is clear. You just buy a product one time for a pretty high price. It's like over 300 euros. But then you have the program. You don't need to do anything. Although every year you can pay a little bit more, like 100 euros or something like that, to upgrade your program to the newest version. Here, you don't pay that much at once and you have monthly or yearly subscriptions. So you have a few plans. First of all, the free plan. And here you have 1 million nodes per second speed of the engine. That is roughly the same as you can get on LeeChess or, or, or on chess.com. So that you can take a look at the interface, try it yourself, whether you like it or not. It's yeah, incredible that you have this free option because with Chessbase, you don't really have such an option. You have to buy an entire program and then hopefully you're going to enjoy it because if not, you're kind of busted. Here you have such an opportunity to try. You have all of the different uh, engines. Let me know in the comments whether you use different engines because I'm always using just the Stockfish. And you don't have here the access to the entire database. Yeah, that's the disadvantage. Uh, well, basically, <laughs> they need to earn money from something, so that is something you need to pay for. That leads us to the first paid plan, which is called the Amateur Plan. It uh, costs you $8 per month or $6.67 per, uh, per month if you uh, pay yearly. Then you get this 10, millions, uh, 10 million nodes per second speed, which is already quite good. I mean, you don't suffer that much if you are, I don't know, below 2000 ELO, for example, that speed, yeah, like the word amateur says, that speed should be sufficient for you. And what you also upgrade here is the number of files you can store in the cloud, namely 500 PGNs. I know that they recently upgraded hugely because it was quite little uh, earlier and it was really difficult to store all of your opening analysis. Now with 500, well, you have quite 
quite a lot of opportunity. Then you have all the same engines, but this time you have access to all of the database, which is really great when you need to prepare against a certain opponent. Or even if you just uh, want to look at a certain opening, it's still very, very good to take a look at what people are playing uh, on a certain level, maybe a famous player, what he plays in a certain position so that you can better understand the ideas. And you have access for the video search uh, here. Then you have the master plan. This is like the ultimate plan. It has everything you need if you want to use Chessify as a professional chess player. So it has the speed of 25 to 100 million nodes, which is what you have seen previously in the video. This is a huge speed and that is basically enough for everyone. Only like if you go to tournaments and you really need to analyze very fast in a short period of time, then that's a perfect case scenario for using those coins. We are gonna talk about it later on. Otherwise you have all of the same features and you have unlimited access to the cloud storage, which is great if you have a huge database of opening analysis. For example, you have bought a course on openings and you need to just get all of the PGNs into the cloud. That is perfect. So when you're in a tournament or just outside of your home, you can quickly get access to it without any problems, even from your mobile phones. Once again, it's not for cheaters, please don't use it. Uh, otherwise, yeah, pretty much you can enjoy all of the features. And then there is the GM plan. In the GM plan, you have all of the same features as in the master plan, but you also have the access to LC0 at a speed of 1000 uh, kilo nodes. And I thought that's going to be incredibly slow. Like if you compare it to Stockfish, it's gonna take you ages to get a reasonable depth. But actually I have switched it on here and wanted to demonstrate it. And it pretty fast, it got to depth. 39, so because it's artificial intelligence, it works like completely different. Let's make a move for black here, move h6 and see how fast it gets the speed. Yeah, so you see this, the speed of the engine is actually incredibly slow, but at the same time, the depth that it gets is really uh, going very, very fast coming forward. And you get the same 30 relatively fast. Now, why this artificial engine is great? Because it can come up with completely fresh ideas, which is important if you are analyzing openings. Now, if you are not a grandmaster, then you really don't need it. Even like me, international master, at my level, not really often you need to look for like your own novelties in the opening. Yes, sometimes you go dive deep into a specific variation that you are preparing against a specific opponent and then it might, might make sense to use something like that to come up with a fresh idea like on move 20. And if you're lucky to get this position on the board, you can benefit from that. But for majority of the players, you don't need to invent a bicycle, you rather need uh, to memorize like the important lines that strong GMs are playing, that correspondence uh, players are playing, and that would be good enough. You don't need to invent anything yourself. In my personal opinion, you don't need to focus on memorization at all. You rather need to understand the ideas of a certain opening to be able to play it reasonably and effectively. But you can see that, yeah, this engine is incredible. It's working so fast, actually completely surprisingly for me because like, how does it work? <laughs> Artificial intelligence is just another planet, another level of understanding. In the master as well as GM plans, you also get a one-on-one -on -one bonus call with a GM and it actually helped me a lot uh, trying to understand all the nuances of the work of this uh, system, of this software. So definitely take advantage of that. If you take a plan, you just book a call and the grandmaster explains you all of the features, how to use the software in the most efficient way for your chess cross. Now let's talk about the points. You have here the combo plans with coins so you get both the subscription and the coins so for example in the amateur plan you get 20,000 coins and you pay for it 20 dollars monthly or 250 dollars yearly and you also get here the access to this uh, lila engine we have talked a few minutes ago with the coins it's like 10 coins per minute which is pretty great considering you get 20,000 so even as an amateur plan, you, you get access to this incredible feature. Then you have the recommendation from Chessify, the master plan. You have to pay here $58 per month or 
100 yearly to get access to it, 50,000 coins. Now, that's a lot. It's not cheap by any means, but if you are a professional, then that's something you can consider because with such a plan, you can uh, save a lot of money. Finally, you have the master plan with 80,000 coins, which is similar, but even more expensive with even more coins. And you can buy coins just as many as you need. You can write here a certain amount of dollars that you're willing to spend. For example, $100 would give you 11,000 coins. If you are talking about the 300 million nodes per second, then that would cost you 20 coins per minute. That means that this $100 would give you 550 minutes analyzing with this super powerful engine. And that feels a little bit complicated. I mean, even for me, I need to calculate all of that, divide, multiply to understand what is really the value of those coins. I guess you can really make it a little bit more uh, intuitive, more user-friendly, more beginner-friendly because you have subscription on the one hand, you have coins on the other hand, you don't know which one you need at a, at a glance. So it's a little bit more difficult to understand in contrast with the user interface of the software uh, itself, which is yeah, pretty, pretty easy and pretty, and pretty beginner friendly. Anyway, that's what Chessify is and how much it costs. Unlike Chessbase, Chessify has their mobile application that you can just download from Apple Store or from Google Play and you have it on your mobile device and that would be more convenient than going to the web version. It has pretty much the, all of the functions that you have on the web version. Also, you have the chess scanner so you can use uh, your phone to just scan the uh, game and it's gonna appear in the Chessify app. So that would be very fast, incredible feature. So you can feel that Chessify cares about their customers and try to stay up to date. So their website, their mobile application looks like it is in 2024. Now, the question is, is it really worth spending money on it and how it compares to the classical software chess base for chess players? So I could compare maybe the, in terms of price, the master plan here, which costs $350 yearly with chess base, which basically costs the same for a year. But then for the second year, you get some discount, you can update it uh, cheaper than that. Or in general, you can just get one chess base and use it for five years. It's not like they're hugely changing the program every, every year. So in, in that regard, that would be more expensive for you. But then if you take the amateur plan and pay just $80 uh, dollars yearly for five years, it would be roughly the same as buying one chess based program. Now, in terms of what you get for your money, I would say that Chessify is more flexible because of the cloud uh, feature of it. So you can use it from any devices possible. You, you, once again, you don't have the mobile version of Chessbase at all. And as far as I know, you have huge difficulties uh, trying Chessbase on the Apple devices, or maybe you, you cannot do it at all. You need like install the Windows on Apple and then install Chessbase there, which is quite a lot of headache. Uh, let me know in the comments if you are Apple users how you handle this situation. Here, of course, you don't care whether you are Apple or a Microsoft uh, user. You can always access the Chessify on cloud, from phone, Android, whatever device you have, you can access the platform. But by the way, you can use it in a combination with Chessbase as well, because they have here the Chessbase plugin. And so you can insert Chessify into the Chessbase so when you analyze certain positions, let's say you have a lot of analysis in Chessbase and you don't need the entire headache transferring it all the way to Chessify, then you can just install this Chessify plugin into the Chessbase and you're gonna get, even if your computer is not that great, you get a huge power of Chessify of the cloud in your Chessbase. So my personal opinion is that it's a high quality software and whether it's worth for you to invest money into it depends on whether you're going to actively use it, like with any high quality software. So if you're playing a lot of OTB tournaments and you are traveling a lot, and so you need a good preparation tool, a good analyzing tool, then 
this would be a very good investment, not such a big one in terms of yeah, what it gives you, what kind of opportunities and the convenience, the flexibility of using it. That would be a very good investment for you as a chess player. I would say that if you are anywhere from 1500 ELO going above, it would make sense. Below that, you're not gonna really feel such a huge difference in terms of using Chessify to like some free engines, for example, just go into lead chess and use their free engine, their database and stuff below 1500, that would be enough for you. But if you really want to take your chess preparation to the next level, then Chessify could be a very, very useful tool. And that's exactly what they're saying on their website as well. It's rather for chess professionals, rather for people who take their chess seriously. In terms of comparing it to the basically only alternative chess base and other tool for professional chess players, I would probably prefer Chessify because of its flexibility, because it's of its up-to-date uh, interface and uh, availability of mobile application. And yeah, it just gives you many more opportunities. Whereas with Chessbase, well, frankly, quite a lot I have difficulties, like my entire laptop is frozen because it's not capable of handling Chessbase. And yeah, that is something I don't want to get. And with Chessify, I don't have any issues like that at all. Now, if you want to try Chessify yourself, of course, I have amazing news for you. If you're gonna use the link in the description, you're gonna enjoy 25% discount of your purchase. So that is a cool offer. Make sure you make use of it before it's too late. All you need to do to get it is just use the promo code Journey to Grandmaster or the link in the description and you're good to go. Now, if you are interested in getting a top class chess coaching, then this video is perfect for you because I share with you a way to get best coaches in the world for just two and a half dollars per day.